today we're going to be talking about collage and when we make collage it's where you arrange papers in different ways to make different things and collage artists really get kind of handy with all the things that are around them and so if over the next couple of days you see some junk mail or a candy wrapper or a little piece of paper that's meaningful to you that you'd be willing to use in your artwork a receipt from a sometime you went somewhere with your friend a ticket stub any kind of paper will work for a collage so you really should be thinking about what papers you have around distance learners definitely whatever you have around the house use that in in class learners you can bring stuff in what I will have available to you here in the classroom and what I've added in some of your packets at home is painted paper. This is actually an old artwork of someone's that I cut up. Um, this is a piece of poster board and it is a little heavier so it's going to do different things. This is a piece of construction paper. Um, I've got some material here, old material will work. Um, these papers are just some um, marker lines on paper, some patterns, and then this is some scrapbook paper. So as you can see, I have a variety of different papers here to use for my idea. For today's Stretch and Explore, we are going to be practicing how to cut um, and manipulate paper and glue it down in different ways. So I'm going to guide you through a few um, to start with, and then I'll let you have some time to see what you can do with the um, paper and glue stick. So you're going to need a pair of scissors, you're going to need a yellow strip of paper, um, a glue stick, and a black piece of paper. And the black piece of paper is what we're going to be sticking everything to today for our stretch and explore. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to cut a square out of this paper and put this one to the side. And the first shape I'm going to ask you, notice this has something on the other side. If you like the way that looks, the printed part looks, you can use that side, but I'm going to use this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to cut a circle without drawing it, okay? Now, sometimes we have to sketch things lightly when we're collaging, but I would really like you to try to make a circle out of this as big as this paper without drawing it first, okay? And the way you do that is you first of all envision that circle on this square. The square is the closest four-sided shape to a circle. That's why we started with the square. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, notice my scissors are at an angle, and I'm gonna start turning the paper. Notice my scissors are not moving. My hand is moving, and I'm turning the paper only. And I'm gonna keep slowly, all I'm doing is opening and closing the scissors slowly like that. And I'm gonna keep turning and scissoring, turning and scissoring. Now don't get here and just mop it off and then you're not gonna have a circle. You have to keep going until you can make it all the way around to make a nice shape. Now is mine perfect? No. Is mine probably more perfect than yours? Probably, I've made a lot of these, okay? So you notice you have a little scrap here. This is called negative space. When you take the open space, out, this is negative space. This is the positive space. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to glue down both of those items onto your page. So go ahead and do that. Give you a second to glue that down. Now, I hope you have those glued down. Keep in mind, you're always getting graded on craftsmanship and care, which means you need to put the right amount of glue. There shouldn't be glue showing. That should be a hidden component. And you always want to make sure you give it a good little one of these business before you let go so that it stays on. So again, here we have positive space and here we have negative space. With your pencil, just go ahead and write that. I know it's really hard to see on your paper, but you'll be able to see it. Positive. And this is negative. Okay, and hopefully you'll be able to see that um, because the lead is shiny. Okay, all right, the next thing we're going to do is I want you to try to make a really, really thin line out of paper. 
So try your best to make one thin line out of paper. And then once you have your thin line, don't make it too thin that you can't glue it down. I want you to practice pulling this across the glue. Instead of putting this down and gluing and the glue gets everywhere, practice putting your finger on it and carefully pulling it through the glue. And then using a different finger, pressing that down to glue that. Okay, and we're gonna label that one skinny. All right, I want you to do the same thing here, except I want you to make a, this time I want you to make a curvy line as you go. Think about a curvy, wavy line. Okay, try that. And glue that next to your skinny line. Notice that this time when I did that, it got all over. So we don't wanna do that, okay? Either use the side of your glue stick here so that you can put it on like that, or you can, again, run it through the glue. So glue that one down, and that one's gonna be called wavy. Now notice I have the other piece here. Look what happens when I leave a negative space. Try that out. You can make that negative space get bigger and smaller depending on where you would glue that next piece. That's where the element of art space comes in, okay? Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to try to make something overlapping. So just go ahead and cut a couple shapes out of your yellow page and then the next thing I want you to do right here is show me overlapping. Overlapping means that the papers are not just touching like this or barely touching, one is over top the other. So go ahead and show me overlapping. Give you a few moments to work on that. All right, make sure you label that overlapping. I kind of did some of my typography there. All right, the next thing I want you to try to do is I want you to try to do a tear. There is tearing where you're just kind of tearing at random, and then there's tearing where you're trying to tear a specific thing. So I want you to first start by just tearing, okay? Now what you'll notice is that when you tear, you see the inside part of the paper. Okay, and sometimes that's good. Sometimes I color that part a little different. Those fibers are a little different there. If you feel it with your finger, you can see it's slightly different there. So that's something to take notice of. Um, and we are going to take this torn piece and we're going to um, tear it one more time. But this time I want you to see if you can tear, this is really hard to do, but tear something kind of curved in there. You gotta go kind of slower and you've got to See if you can make kind of a zigzag or a curve in your tear so that you get two pieces that are a little different. And then when, when you go to glue these down, I want you to decide how far apart they need to go. Think about that negative space. What kind of shape do you want to create in between, okay? I'm gonna give you a few seconds to do that. All right, so I have decided to glue mine pretty close together, so there's a little space here. Um, I could imagine something where you have lots of spaces like that, and maybe you even write something in between there by using the negative space. I also labeled this tear, okay? Make sure you're getting everything good and glued down so it doesn't come flying off there. Okay, all right, we have our extra piece. We're gonna do one more thing before I ask you to fill the rest of the space with something you'd like to try. Um, we're gonna take another small piece. We should still have quite a bit of our paper left. And uh, another small piece, and this time I want you to fold the piece of paper. Now, you can see it's just folded like this. On the fold, okay, on the folded part, don't do it over here because then you're going to have two, but on the folded part, I'd like you to try to cut a shape. Make sure you start on the folded part. I'm going to try to cut a triangle and end on the folded part, okay? 
Now when I do that, I'm gonna have two pieces left over. This is the shape that I made, the positive shape that I made, and this is the negative shape that I made, okay? Now, I don't want you to glue them down yet. What I want you to try to do is I want you to try to make it where this shape is just slightly smaller. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is close it again, and I'm just going to shave off or just take off just a tiny little bit on both sides. Remember, I'm cutting towards the fold still, just the tiniest little sliver. And what that's going to do, this is a little challenge here, is it's going to make this fit in here, but there's going to be a slight bit of room around it. Okay, that's not perfect. Yours won't be either. Oops, it definitely goes the other way. So that when I glue this down, there's a tiny little space all the way around. Now, if, you, if that's as far as you can go, great. If you want the extra challenge, fold it again and back on the fold, I'm on the fold again, I'm gonna take out a second shape. So now there's an inside shape. Okay, and I'm gonna glue all of that down in there like that. All right, I'll give you a chance to get that going. All right, so you can see here that I have glued down my folded shape and I have the extra one inside and I also labeled it folded shape. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that. And with your extra piece of paper, I am going to give you a little checklist of a few things to try. If you get finished with all of these, then you can do whatever you want with your leftover paper. Um, you can make some other shapes, maybe start putting some shapes together to make some kind of an image, maybe not. Maybe you wanna try a letter. Um, you could also try to do something movable. How could you use gluing down paper and maybe have some kind of a tab or something someone has to pull or something someone has to move, make it incorporating the viewer. And the last thing I want you to try is something 3D where you are gluing only part of the paper down and part of the paper sticking up. All right, I hope you had fun with our stretch and explore. It's time for you to take over uh, with our remaining time and see what you can come up with. Oh, oh, oh.